Okay, so we got a 1968 Aristocrat Lowliner, and this is the interior. Uh, it's got a good screen door, you can see. So as you walk in, there's the dinette, and the dinette completely turns into a bed area. There's a big long window there. Back up, you can see a little bit better. Um, there's storage over this dinette table. So the table completely folds down and you can sleep two adults or um, two or three children. Uh, underneath this storage seat is the 25 gallon fresh water tank for drinking water or sink water. And then under here there's some jack, uh, a jack and then the um, wrench to put the jacks down in the back for stabilizers. We've got, as I pan over this way, there's the sink area and the stove. The stove top works. The oven is not working right now. I think it might just need a thermocoupler maybe. Storage up above the cabinets, uh, above the sink and the stove. And the lights do work. I don't have the electricity plugged into it right now. Uh, it has both a city water connection just for cold water and then it's got the pump style um, pump handle style sink faucet for when you're not hooked up to any kind of pressurized water system there is a refrigerator it's an ice box it's the old style ice box so you put a block of ice up on the top and put all your cold or all your food down in the bottom and in the door um, I used to put some dry ice up on the top and it would keep for two to three days so as we pan towards the back of the trailer, you've got a bunk bed that folds down. It's folded up right at the moment. And then a couch uh, area that actually folds out into a double bed. Two adults can sleep comfortably there. Um, as you can see, the cushions need to be um, recovered. The upholstery is ripped on them. Um, I should put this bunk down so you can see what it looks like. So here's the bunk bed. That's up on the top. Um, and I would say a child up there. I, I didn't put any adults up there when I had uh, had it out camping. We have a 11 year old, about 100 pounds up there. Uh, you've got more storage that's underneath the couch bed and it's got an access hatch there and it's also got an access hatch outside on the back rear of the trailer. If we go over this way, there's two closets right here. So I'll open this one up. You've got some shelving in there and it goes down into some uh, the wheel well and there's just some foam cushion inside the wheel well to kind of help with the insulation. I'll open this other side. This side has some drawers in it built in. So I used to put all my kitchen and pantry kind of items all in there and some toiletries in the bottom. So all the wood in the back back here has been replaced. Um, 